How's everybody doing? Assalamu alaikum. This is Brother Clifton Raheem Bradley from out of Chicago, the United States of America. And um, today, tonight, the afternoon, we're doing a show talking about the violence in Chicago and how we can make it better. Okay. And the two men behind me are former leader of gangs, brother Jeff Ford of the L. Rookins and Larry Hoover of the GD is the Gangster Disciples. And you know what, man, I have so many pe so many people listen to the show. You know what, man? I, I, I just had I just had to do it again. I had to. You know what? I'm sorry about the little light on the side of me that's flickering on and off, but I told y'all that this platform, I'm working to get this platform better and better and better and better, but it's not what it should be yet. And you know what? I want to say, put in a quick message. People that like this content, share this comment and make comments. And if you want this, this platform to be better, make a donation. I don't care if it's $1, a quarter, to help me to build a studio work because this is the type of information that I want to disseminate. I want to disseminate this type of information to the people. This is what I want to do. And, and you know what? I need your help. But to get your help, <laughs> you know what? I have to this is something I have to do. I have to give you the content that you want. No, not what I want. All. It's, it's not about what I want. And um, I'm going to send another link to my guest. Okay. And he should be coming in. Okay. Right. He should be coming in right now because I just sent him a link. But you know what? The violence in Chicago, the violence in Chicago, you know what? It's rough being in Chicago. And you know what? These two gentlemen that are locked up, that are, that are incarcerated in prison right now, they have the ability to minimize. Nobody can stop the criminal activity that is going on in Chicago. Nobody, nobody can stop it. You know what? But you know what? It might be one, it might be one individual, uh, some individuals that might say, you know what? Because Jeff Ford and Larry Hoover used to, used to be leaders of these gangs. I'm honored it. I'm gonna honor that. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to school. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back and get an education. You know what? I'm not gonna go out tonight and go through with this gang initiation thing and kill somebody. I hurt somebody to be accepted. To be accepted. I'm gonna call my guest because I don't understand why. He is not calling me. And you know what? I know this is not uh, typical to do this on the air, but I'm waiting on him. Yellow. Yeah, I'm waiting on waiting waiting on you to get in, my brother. Oh, it's, I just sent I just sent you I just sent you another email, brother. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No problem. It's a link. Right the way I am, okay? All right. All right. Okay. This tech, you know what? People are still getting used to this technology, man. This technology is awesome. And you know what? I want to say something to all the people on YouTube that had anything about teaching somebody about green screen, teaching somebody how to edit properly, when it comes to green screens and lighting, I want to thank them, even though I got like a little C on it, because you see the little marks over there, but that's only because I had to get more lights. And people that made donations, hey, 
I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I, I thank you. I thank you very much. But like I say, there's so much chaos going on in the United States that is going on in Chicago. And it's sickening to me. It is just sickening to me. It's sickening to me. You know what? It's sickening when I look, go over the week, go over the weekend, and I see that there were people that were murdered. And you know what? And it's sad, man, to know that there are kids that will not make it. Whatever, whatever, whatever weekend, they just won't make it. And you know what? It's saddening to me. It is saddening to me. And um, I know that the preacher can talk. The preacher can talk to to people i know that i know that and um the thing is the imam people that don't know what the imam is the imam is a leader of a community of muslims just like a preacher is a leader of a com leader of a community that are Christians. A priest can talk to the young people. But you know what? There are some people that they are not going to be able to reach because, thank you, Richard Smith. That's a brother. That's a, that's, that's a, that, that's a brother. Um, <laughs> I, I told him that was my first boss. God made me. Uh, <laughs> I got to have him on the show. The guy had me deliver newspapers. He said, man, I'm going to give you 10 cents a newspaper. <laughs> I said, okay. And then it turned out to be a nickel. He said, wait a minute, man. Some papers did <laughs> Richard Smith is a good guy. A real good guy. Pam, and his mother, mother and father. Thank you, brother, for listening. I got tall respect for you. When I sent you that message, you was my first boss. You was my first boss outside of my family. And Richard Smith, I'll never forget that you taught me something about business. <laughs> you and Dwayne and Steve and Joey and Pee Wee. Good brothers. Good brothers. But I am waiting um, I am waiting. On, I'm waiting on my guests to come in. Thank you, Rich. I appreciate it, brother. You know, I like to have you on the show to talk about old times, to talk about how things used to be. I have a call. Yes, hello. No, I, 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 I sent you. Hold on for a minute. I sent you the link, brother. You. Okay, you got to be kidding, man. Okay, so you know what? What happened is my guest is trying to get in, and I don't know if it's because of the subject matter that we are discussing, the way the powers of be are saying, I'd be DAM if you talk about, talk about Larry Hoover and Jeff Ford again. I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't know. So you know, can can I, you want me to send you the link one more time, my brother? Cause cause um, I I, I know you, I see you hear me. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna send I'm gonna send you the link again, okay? I'm just going to send the link. We are having a rough time. Okay. I'm going to send you the link one more time. I don't know. It, it may be about the subject matter, but I'm sending you the link one more time. Okay. And, and make sure. A. Okay. It's 1977. Damn. That's it. That's the link right there. I. I 
I'll be waiting for you, okay? Ah, right. okay. See, I don't know what's I don't know what's going on. You know what? I sent the gentleman the link. And you know what's strange? Me and him done we had done things over the internet and haven't had and haven't had any problems, no problems whatsoever. And um like I say, I believe that it is because of the content that we are talking about. I believe if we were sitting up here singing and jam dancing and having a good time and talking about the Chicago Bulls and talking about the Blackhawks and talking about a yo-yo, I do not believe that we would be experiencing these difficulties. Just the fact that these gentlemen pictures are up in the background bringing attention to them. You know what? Somebody is not happy with that. You know, somebody, somebody is not happy with that. And you know what? And you don't believe, you know what? You may be saying, man, what's wrong with you? You know, conspiracies, there's a such thing of conspiracies. Not going to talk about the virus. I'm not. I'm not going to talk about that because you know what? That can cause some problems. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to talk about 9/11. 9/11 is considered a conspiracy by some. You know, and there 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 are many things that are going on that. A lot of people don't know anything about because you know what? They are busy doing things that they think are good. And there's nothing wrong with looking at the football game because you know what? I have to admit, I would be looking at the football game tonight if I wasn't doing this. Okay? I, that's what I would be doing. But you know what? But you have to become a critical thinker and by becoming a critical thinker you must read you must obtain knowledge you must go to the library you must go on the internet and search groups i mean you know the type of things that i learned i didn't learn in school like about columbus and about president lincoln that um a lot of people don't understand about President Lincoln. He never really wanted to free the slaves. Is this is documented proof? He said that if I, he said that if I could, in this in this war, without breaking up the Union, I would. You know, he and you know what? It's it's a whole lot of. What you would call conspiracies, but there's reality to those conspiracies, like Illuminati. Everybody knows about the Illuminati. The Illuminati exists. Okay, the Night of the Templars that exists. That exists. But like I said, but a lot of people, when you, you know what was was funny to me is. When I ask somebody what's going on, you know what? They'd be like, hey, man, I don't know what's going on. And you know what? What's scary about it? They really don't know. But they know about trivial things that don't even matter. If we start to talk about the Chicago Bulls or the Blackhawks or dancing with the stars, or, but there's all type of hell that's going on around them. And the very people that they elect to look out for their best interests, they fight against the interests. You know, I'm gonna try to call my guests one more time. I know it's not protocol for me to be doing this on doing this on now, but this is not channel seven or anything like that. And I'm trying to uh I'm trying to understand why. I don't I don't get it. Yeah, hello. Okay. Oh. 
Rick, we know what. Re, know what? Do me a favor. Restart your computer. Re, yeah, restart. Okay. All right. Then we'll get off. You know what? My guest is having a um hard time getting in because you know what? He is a proponent of letting Larry Hooper and Jeff Ford out of out of jail. He is a proponent. And you know what? A lot of y'all may not know in L.A. You might be seeing this in history. In L.A., Kanye West is giving to do a concert, a concert in California to raise money to get Larry Hoover out of jail right now. You know, they, they didn't say, but like I said, I like I said, someone probably disagrees with me. Some people, somebody is saying, you know what, man? Why would you let these two gentlemen out of jail? Why? And like I said, I go back to what I originally said, that there are people that have done things that have been horrible, horrible, but they were given a second opportunity. 